Let's be clear. I'll debate any Muslim here right now on Akida, but not him until he apologizes. We as Muslims, we have something in our religion which all Muslims should know. It's called the Izzah. We have Izzah. We don't apologize to anyone. We don't apologize to people who worship a man who died on a cross. Oh, well, who's got a question? Ali, are you watching the face? What, what was he? What, did he interrupt someone else? Yeah, he did. He did. Did he interrupt? Yeah, he did. And he interrupted. Yeah, he did. Wait, can we get it on tape? Can we get it on tape? Because, because, because this guy. Remember, the other guy said that Muslims don't do it. What, what did what did Allah do to you? Been interrupted three times by Muslims today. Latest and he, by Ali Oh wait, wait, bro! I thought you said Muslims didn't do it in the park. <laughs> Ali! Ali! Come back, Ali! 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 Why are we running again, Ali? You can't attack us for running away. Wait, wait, where's. Ali! 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 Wait! Why do they keep running? You keep telling me go and debate these people. Why do they keep running? Ali! Oh, he's just run away again. Come on, Allah prays. Where is he praying to? Come on. How are you doing, Mr. Destroyer? How are you doing, Mr. Destroyer? There you go. This is how we will be treated if Islamists like Ali Dawa get control. They will treat you like a second class citizen. Ali Dawa comes and he chucks other people's property away. What you see in a microcosm here at the park, imagine it extrapolated to an entire society. Go and speak to the Coptic Christians. The Pakistani Christians, they are Syrian Christians and the Armenian Christians. Yeah, let's have a discussion. Okay, about about what the Quran says about Christ. About about what about about no 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 about what I want to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. No no, I'm going to talk to you, and I'm going to talk to you about the Christ in the Quran. Would would you like to have that debate? Hey, 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 yeah, civil discussion hey, hey, okay. hey, on that hey, topic. Can I ask a question about that? And hey, I can ask hey, a question about hey, that. Okay. No, no, I want to talk uh, to you. Uh, I want to, no, no, no. Hey, no, you, you, can't, you walked away earlier. I walked away. Yeah. So, do you want to have a discussion about the Christ? I said, you can ask me any what you want. You can simply say yes or no. What you want about the Quran, you can ask. But I can ask you in return. Do you want? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Do you want to have a conversation? You want to have it here? Yes, about the Christ. Do you want to have that conversation? I will. You can ask about what you want. You choose your topic. Bro, just say yes or no. Yes to your topic, yes to my topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which one has a topic? Fair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice conference. Ah, you cannot force me to follow your, your topic. So, topic for me, topic for you. Okay, let's see. Okay, that. Good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, question for you, question for me. Yeah. yeah? Good. Let's have a discussion. Okay. Tell me how. Tell me how. What is it? We'll tell you. Okay. We will tell you. You're going to have a discussion here. No shouting each other. And he no moderates. No insulting each other. You accept his moderation. If you're going to shout and swear, you accept his moderation. It's not okay. You don't want that. Ali, you go around, you, you've gone around for years yes. insulting people. Okay. okay. Why are you trying to lecture on that John, now? John, you, don't, you, you don't get to lecture. Don't like me. Don't John. Like me. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let, yeah. John, John, let's take okay. the pass. Yeah? He said, okay, okay, I, 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 have a discussion with him. No screaming. Do you accept no his moderating? Do okay, you no. accept his moderating? No. Who do you accept here who's, who's no, 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 not biased, who's not, who's not uh, biased towards one If side. we're having a conversation, we don't need a moderator. Okay, okay yeah, so you yeah, have yeah, a nice civil conversation. Can we tell, okay. can we tell, can we tell them what to heckle? Okay. Okay. Guys, we're having a nice discussion. Nobody's shouting. Okay. Okay. Can you tell your side next week? I'll tell my side next week. Is that better? We can try, but yeah. someone tells me it won't work. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's just have a quiet conversation. Okay.
Let's first say, okay, 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 is everyone ready? I do have a nice quiet conversation, but I have nothing in this question. But the problem is, for me, someone picks on, like you're talking with the young Muslims. Honestly, don't play, don't play that victim game. It doesn't wash with me, bro. It doesn't wash with me. I'm saying the truth. It doesn't wash with you me. Don't no, it's a victim it. game. You, you literally you, came and okay. interrupted me over there. You don't get to lecture. Why did I do that? So you don't get to lecture. Why did I do that? Because you don't get to lecture. the same guy. We, we we no, the, same the, same, the guy that you declared as your victim. The guy there. Came and interrupted this guy. This no, guy no, here. No, 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 this one. What, what, he this came and forced himself into a conversation that I was having. Okay, let's not go back to the same circle, yeah? Okay, You're right. Let's not go back to the same circle. Let's speak here, yeah? Okay. you want to have one on you or shall Yeah, you can put one on me. That's fine. Just remember to collect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I? Okay, let me say the do, terms. Do, you can okay, say the terms. Do you the mind terms. if I just introduce and leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Up to no, you. No, no, no. No, you don't get to introduce. Okay, nothing. Introduce. Okay, I'm going to say the terms and you tell if you no. agree or disagree. You, you can say your terms and I'll say my terms. Yeah, you can say if you agree with the terms that we agreed upon or not. Okay. okay. No, no, no. You say your terms and I'll Which say my terms. one question, one question. You yeah. my talk. Is that, isn't that what we agreed upon? Carry on. Do you agree or not? Carry on. Okay. No, he said he was going to have a civil discussion. That's what he said. Yeah. If we find it is a problem, I'm going to not interrupt you. You're not going to interrupt me. Okay. Listen, please, no interruption. Just have a nice yeah. discussion. No screaming, no challenge. We try to do that. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. If, if you're going to do it, have a time. No, no, no. I'm, I don't, I don't chat on screen. Okay. Okay, introducing, introducing the terms of the discussion. The terms okay. of the discussion is going to be... I'm gonna ask. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Just introduce. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Ready, guys. Okay. So we, so we will have a discussion. The terms of the discussion will be the following. Bob is gonna ask a question. I'm gonna answer his question. And similarly, I will ask him a question, and he will answer my question. Bob can ask the question on the topic that he chooses, which he said he wants to speak about Jesus in the Quran. I will speak about my topic, which is Aqidah, which he was referring to and speaking to Muslims about last week. Now, I will ask a question about my topic, and Bob will ask a question about his topic. We will not interrupt each other. We'll have a civil discussion. we we'll finish your point. I'll finish my point. If I interrupt you, call me out on my interruption. If you interrupt me, I will call you out on the interruption. Is that fair? Okay. So what we've agreed is we're going to do question for question. The questions can be about any topic. However, the, 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 the debate that I have said that I want to have with this guy is about what the Quran says about Jesus Christ. Those are the questions that I will answer. He can ask any question about that topic and I will answer it. Okay, so as we see here, Bob is afraid to speak about Aqidah. Why? He's coming to Muslims, acting like he's a big man. I can ask questions. I said, you can ask me anything you like. Imagine. I'm giving him free choice to ask any question he likes about Islam. We can defend our religion. We can defend our religion. We're not afraid. But Bob here is afraid because he knows he's ignorant about Muslim Aqidah. He knows that I'm going to give him a lesson about Islamic Aqidah. So what he doesn't want to talk about is Muslim Aqidah. The topic coming back again. I see this fair. If you have a topic for you, I have a topic for you, for myself. The topic you chose was with the other guy, not with me. We never agreed. So show me on camera me agreeing with you on that topic. I never agreed on that. What we agreed upon is you ask a question about the topic you want. And the topic I want is going to be the creed. The topic I want is going to be creed and aqidah. Can I ask you a question about creed and aqidah? And you ask me a question about Jesus and the Quran as you want. If you want that, you can have a, a, a nice discussion. If you don't want in front of everyone here, you see that you know nothing about aqidah. You're afraid to have a discussion about aqidah. Go ahead. So, the question that I came to talk to him about was about what the Quran says about Jesus Christ. Because that was the debate that he interrupted over there. I said to him that I will have his debate about Aqidah when he apologizes for the rude way that he interrupted my debate earlier. If he is willing to give that apology for his rudeness right now in front of everyone, he can have the debate that he wants. All he needs to do is give a sincere apology for his rudeness. Okay. We as Muslims, we have something in our religion which all Muslims should know. It's called Izzah. We have Izzah. We don't apologize to anyone. We don't apologize to people who worship a man who died on a cross. We, we do not, not apologize. Uh, interrupting, interrupting. I didn't oh, interrupt sorry, you. you're right, you're right. You're right. Sorry, okay. my apologies. We do not apologize to someone who is showing the same rude behavior 
that he wants me to apologize about. I said, if you want to have an equal debate, leave the past to the past, be the past, and let's focus on right now. Unless you're afraid, let's have a discussion. You will choose your question about what you chose. I will choose to ask you about Islamic Aqeedah that you were showing your might and asking questions about last week. Is that fair, everyone? Yeah. We can yeah. all choose a topic. Yeah. Each one can answer a question. Yeah. Simple, fair terms. Do you agree or do you disagree? Okay, so please note what he said. We do not apologize to those who worship God as a man. You all heard him say that and it's on camera. In other words, what the slip of the tongue was is we don't apologize to Christians. That's what he just said, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hand up, Christians, if you want to be a second class citizen. Because what he just said was we don't apologize to Christians even when we do wrong. Even when we do wrong. And why do we know it was wrong? Because he accuses me of doing wrong by interrupting Muslims. So he admits that he thinks that it's wrong. Something that I do not agree to. But then, even though he thinks it's wrong, he does it to me and he won't apologize. Now I agreed that he can ask any question he wants. But what I said the topic was, that he ignored, was that the topic was about whether Jesus is the Christ. And what does the Quran say about the Christ? He can ask any question he wants about that, and I will talk to him about it. If he wants to talk about Akida, he just needs to give me an apology. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, about Jesus and the Christ. You're done, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Now, we can see exactly, I'm going to repeat the same things I said. It's very simple. It's very simple. Bob does not want to have the debate. You know why he's afraid? I come to you to the debate. He does not know about the topic. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's why even if you tell him, let's have the debate, he will stick with the excuse. He doesn't want to apologize. He bullied me. He doesn't want to apologize. So he will stay with that topic because the reality is he doesn't know about three. It's a problem. He doesn't know. And he's strawmanning my, my position about Christians. I never said we should not apologize to any Christian. My words were was very clear. You can go back if you want the tip. We will. I said we do not apologize to people who are asking us to apologize of the same things they're doing wrong. He does something wrong and he's asking me to apologize about the same thing he did. I have no problem with Christians. I have so many discussions online with Christians. They are well behaved, well mannered Christians, a well mannered discussion with them. Everyone can see. I apologize many times to people if I interrupt them, etc. You can see it's all my videos online. I do not need to justify that. My words were, were clear, but that's the Bob's strategy. He takes your words, he strawmans, adds a little bit words from him, he adds ex some extra bits, and he starts refuting his strawman. I never made the claim you don't apologize to any Christian. That is Bob's strategy. And by the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this inconsistent strategy happening so many times in the debate. That's the first time. Now I'm gonna repeat what I said again. People are here, they're waiting, you're wasting their time. Do you wanna have a discussion where you choose a topic yourself? I would choose a topic. I'm not controlling your topic, you chose the topic, I can choose my topic, I'll ask you a question about my topic, you ask me a question about my topic. Unless, as I said, you know you're ignorant, you know you're nothing about Muslim Aqeedah, you're illiterate about Muslim Aqeedah, so you're afraid, you don't want to talk about it. It's not translated, so you cannot read it, my friend. I know, it's a big problem for you. So do not come and talk about something which you cannot read. I'm here to represent my firm Aqeedah, my oneness, my unity, and my creator who's not deficient, who's free from all needs. If you want to have a discussion about that, I'm waiting. People are waiting. Let's not waste people's time. The lady wants to hear a discussion. Other people would like to hear a discussion. Let's agree. Your topic, my topic, one question, one question. Okay, so the quest, the debate that I came here for, the one that I asked him for, and the one that he is running from, and I don't know why, but I, I suspect the reason why he's running from this debate is because Muslims assert that Jesus is the Messiah. But yet they have absolutely no understanding as to why Jesus is the Messiah. The Quran does not help them. The Hadiths does not help them. And that is the reason why he's running from this debate. Because the Old Testament is clear as to why Jesus is the Messiah. He is the Messiah of the world, not just the people of Israel. He is an eternal being, not just a man. And this is the reason why he doesn't want to debate my topic. 
he rudely interrupted a debate that I was having on that topic. And I invited him to have that debate with me over there. I have come again to invite him to have that debate with me right now. I am not the one running. I came to him. I came here. I asked him for the debate. Does that sound like someone who is running? The debate that I am asking for is about what the Quran says about Jesus as the Messiah. That is the debate that I want. If he wants to have a debate about Akida, I am here willing to have the debate. Is that running? No. All he has to do, apparently standing here saying I'm willing to debate you about Akida, for the woman who is waiting, is running according to her. And why is that? Why? Because if a Christian stands up to a Muslim, it doesn't matter what they do, they are the ones in the wrong. He needs to apologize for his Akida debate. He can have it right now, right here. All he has to do is apologize to one who worships a man like God. That's all he has to do. Okay, okay. Now I have here a few points, which is showing that Bob is repeating his points again and again and again and again. He's going in a circle. Why? First thing he said, the debate we agreed on. It's on tape. I never agreed with him in only debates. He spoke to a layman Muslim. He was having a debate with him. And he wants to force the topic on me because he knows he's ignorant about the other topic. That's the first point. The second point is he's saying I'm running from the debate even though I said ask me any question about Islam. It's either he has a hearing problem or he's acting like he never heard me. I said you can ask about any topic you would like to ask upon. I'm not running from anything my friend. I'm here. Ask any questions you like about Islam. Islam is a strong religion, my friend. We don't run away like you, okay? Now coming back to the topic, Jesus is the Messiah. I can teach you about the Quran. You mentioned Quran, Hadith, Jesus is the Messiah. I can teach you, my friend. I can tell you what the Quran says. You can ask questions. Do you want the teacher to teach you? I'm willing to teach you. No, there is no issues with that. I can teach you, my friend. Now when it comes to repeating, uh, interrupting uh, the, the, the other things that happened in the past, you interrupted me that time. He interrupted me. That, he stole my lunch. Bro, get over it. Be a man, man. Get over it. Get over it. Have a discussion like a man, bro. Have a discussion like a man. I'm here to have a discussion about any topic. Stop acting like a victim. Your viewers can see it. They can see the weaknesses in you. Oh, you want to talk about anything. Let's talk then. One question, one question. My topic is Aqeedah. Your topic is whatever you want. I can answer it. Again, let's not be in a circle. Let's not waste people's time. Let's have a discussion. People are tired. Go. Okay. So here he's saying that he's willing to have a debate about any topic. Here's my topic. Let's talk about what the Quran says about Jesus being the Messiah. Case closed. We can have that debate. Now, if he's not willing to agree to that debate and he wants to do this, you have your conversation and I have my conversation. The reason why this won't be edifying, ladies and gentlemen, is because we won't be able to penetrate deeply. I can simply obfuscate on his questions and he can obfuscate on mine. But if the topic is singular, there's no dodging or running away. We go deep into a topic. It's edifying for everyone that hears it. If we have two separate conversations, then he will waste my time on the topic he doesn't want to talk about and I can waste his time on the topic that I don't want to talk about. Out of principle, that I am not a dimmy, that I am not a second-class citizen, I will not debate a topic demanded by this particular man on the topic of Akida until he apologizes for his rudeness. I will debate with him any other topic. I will debate any other Muslim, any other Muslim. Even Mansour, right now, I'll debate Mansour, I'll debate Mansour on Akida. I'll debate him right now, but until this man apologizes, he won't get the debate that he wants, because he demanded his debate by interruption and rudeness. So Mansour, would you like to debate Akida? Would you? Are you running Mansour? Is he not a man? He's running. No, you're not, man. He's not running. You're running from the debate about Issa. Do you want to have it? Yes or no? Um, again, now it's my time to speak. It's my time to speak. 
sorry. She's the asking lady, you to apologize. Lady, the lady is asking me to apologize. <laughs> you say no. Which, would you say it's not fair for you to ask me to do something and not ask him to do something, right? Why do you He's, both apologize? Okay, okay. Uh, if, if he would apologize first, <laughs> I don't mind. You can apologize. Then we will say, we I apologize on all of your behalf. Oh, thank you. Okay, now coming, coming back. Look. Again he's, again, again, again he's saying. Mansour can't apologize again, he's for me. Saying the He topic, knows that. The topic is not edifying. The topic is not edifying. What he actually means, I don't want to talk about it because I don't know it. What he actually means, I want to control the topic. I don't want you to ask you questions. I said one question, one question. It would be edifying because you will ask. Apologize. I will Just answer. apologize. Just don't don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Him, don't interrupt. Yeah, yeah. I didn't interrupt you. All right, JC. I didn't interrupt you again. We see second yep. time. Who That's fair enough. Who interrupt? I can own it. I okay. can own it. Okay. okay, good. Now, we said it's a Q&A, which means you will ask, I will answer your topic. That's very edifying, my friend. You can ask, I can give you answers, and I can tell you what the Quran says. I will give you all the edifying you like, my brother. Don't worry. All you have to do... Brother in humanity, by the way. All you have to do, all you have to do is to do the same. Allow me to expose your ignorance, or oh, sorry, to ask you questions about Aqeedah, as well as you're gonna ask me questions about my Quran. It's a simple, fair thing. Everyone here, everyone here, everyone here sees this as the truth. Now, people are here. I'm not gonna waste any more time. People have time. I'm fasting and I don't like screaming. None of my videos will see me screaming with anyone because that's not how I do things. If you want to have a rationalized discussion, people are here, they're moderating. Everyone will say Bob, who's standing in front of everyone's speaker's yes. corner, and he was afraid to talk about Aqidah, even though a Muslim gave him all the chances to ask any questions about the Quran, to ask any question he likes. But because he knows he's ignorant about Aqidah, he's afraid, he doesn't want to talk about it, he doesn't want to expose his ignorance to the layman. Move on, Bob, move on, be a man. Will you talk about it, yes or no? Okay, so let's just deal with Mansour's comical apology on everyone's behalf. <laughs> Mansour knows as well as I do that no man can apologize on another person's behalf. I can't apologize for Mansour. Mansour can't apologize for me. It doesn't work like that. I have invited this brother twice. The man, the man who comes here. Oh, are they, wait, wait, are they interrupting? Are they interrupting? Remember, you okay. said we will try. I'm so, not interrupting. so, so yeah, right now. You so, to me, ask right. me so, yeah, don't try. so, guys, he says, be a man. I've invited him twice to debate the topic I want to debate him on. He has refused. He says that I'm running from the debate. I said I will debate him right now if he apologizes. But he refused to apologize. And let's just remind everyone of his words. We Muslims do not need to apologize to those who worship man as a god. That's what he said. We don't need to apologize to those dirty kuffar. Those little dimmies. Those polytheists. No, we've got him on tape, love. You can say he didn't say it, but we have him on the camera and so does everybody else. But here's the difference. We won't edit it out of our videos. But I suspect that you Muslim channels will edit it out of yours. And Mansour's nodding his head and saying yes. He's nodding his head and saying yes. He's saying yes. Now he says that I am not a man. He says that I am a man, not a man. Is Mansour shouting? Is Mansour interrupting? He says that I am not a man. He says that I am not a man. Let's be clear, everyone. Interrupting. Let's be clear. I'll debate any Muslim here right now on Akida, but not him until he apologizes. Any Muslim, Mansour, do you want to debate Akida? Ali, do you want to debate Akida? No, no. Do you want to debate Akida? No. Do you want to debate Akida? Do you want no? Do you want to debate Akira? Am I running from the debate? No! He's running from the debate. To have the debate he wants, he just needed to say sorry. That was all I was asking for. Goodbye, cowards, and good night. Be a man. Take two, action. Okay, so <laughs> Steven Spielberg speaks.
So, so let's be clear. Right, this rabble-rousing episode of Speaker's Corner. It may be the case that the Muslims want to spin this, that I was running from the debate. But I've just offered four Muslims a debate on Aqeedah. Uh, Mansour, Ali Dawa, Sam Dawa, and then the guy that interrupted me last week. They all ran from the debate. The Muslim that rudely interrupted me last week, I said to him, I'll have his debate on Aqeedah. He just needed to apologize for the rudeness, the rudeness of his earlier interruption. And what did he say? He said, we don't need to apologize to those who worship God as a man as a God. That's what he said. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to understand that we don't need to jump through the hoops of the Dawah team. We don't need to concede ground to the Dawah team. We don't need to concede ground to these supremacists. Dimitude will be a real thing if you don't find your spine and your balls. If you don't learn to stand up for yourself, Dimitude will be a reality. Don't believe me? Go and talk to the cops. Don't believe me? Go and talk to the Christians of Pakistan. Don't believe me? Go and talk to the Christians of Morocco, Algeria, Armenia, Assyria. Don't believe me? Go and speak to the Christians of Malaysia. Don't believe me? Go and speak to the Christians of Sudan. Go and speak to the Christians of Nigeria. Go and speak to the Christians of Ethiopia. Go, go, go and speak to the Christians of Eritrea. They will tell you what it means to be dominated by Salafist scum, Islamist supremacists who think that they don't need to apologize to those who worship man as a god. That think that they can interrupt you, but you can't interrupt them. That think that they can go around the corner looking for Christians, but you can't go around the corner challenging Muslims. That think that think that it is perfectly all right for Islamic law to discriminate against Christians, but it makes no sense if the French Republic discriminates against Muslims. This is the double standard, the lack of cognitive thinking of that little gang over there. And you just saw them to a man Run from a debate. Hashim ran from a debate. Mansour ran from a debate. Sam ran from a debate. Ali Dawa ran from a debate. And even Ali Dawa's friend ran from a debate about whether Jesus was the Christ and what that meant. There's boat! There's boat! There's boat! There's boat! There's boat! Christos Anesti! Alitinos Anesti! Christos Anesti! Alitinos Anesti! Why did he just do the debate? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The reason why I, I was willing to debate him on the topic that he interrupted me on. I was exactly, exactly, exactly. Because, because well, I'll explain. I'll explain. There's a kind of unwritten rule in the park that when you're having a formal time debate, you don't interrupt. I've never interrupted something that I've known to be a formal time debate. This guy forced his way into a formal time debate that was agreed by two parties last week, and we had it timed. We had it agreed. The guy had come all the way. Yes, it's on our films. If you go, if you go. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Do you hear that, JC? The lady's asking us to edit a tape that shows where I agree that I agreed that I was going to debate that guy you have last to show week. What the rules yeah. Were in the video, don't you show the yeah. clip? Well, and then they can respond. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Way, we, get, we, we will, we will do our best so you can see what happened, right? Me and this other guy agreed last week to have a debate this week. If he had not interrupted me. I would have just debated him. I said to him, give me four minutes and uh, who's my witness? Yeah, these people were there. Listen, please, please. I said to him, give me four minutes and I'll debate you. And he wouldn't even give me four minutes. 
And these are my witnesses. He's a witness, he's a witness, he's a witness, he's a witness. I asked him for four minutes. Is that unreasonable? No. But what I wanted to say is that you have an opportunity now to yeah. have a debate with him. Irrespective of what happened in my the past, goodness, your goodness, objective goodness. and his objective oh, is to have a message and put that forward. Oh, you yeah. have an opportunity, a platform yeah. for both That's of you. Everyone's your got their cameras. Oh, sorry. So you're more than welcome to now do the debate. The fact that you want to like hold on to this point, which was principle, it's irrelevant to the discussion. So can you not both just swallow your pride and just do the debate? Because that's what you're here for. That's what we're here for, and that's what he's here for. So having this, you know, dilly dallying of whether if you said this and that, this, we would make sure that he only speaks when he's got his four minutes, and you speak when you have your four minutes, and we will all stand there and say no. Let him finish his speech. So no one will interrupt you. Not when I'm there, anyway. So would you like to come back and have this discussion because you've got to prove your point. You walking away makes you look like, no offense, but it looks like you're weakening out of the discussion. You're too scared to have the answer. So what you could do is put them in their place and say, no, I actually, I will let that go. It makes you look come across as a gentleman because you can always prove it later on and just have the discussion. Walking away from it now just makes you look like you're, you don't really have the answer. So, sister, you you know you make some very valid points, but, well, but look, yeah, some some I agree with, some I don't. don't yeah, yeah. well, here here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right, you never come into it. No, yeah, that this is one of you. Are you absolutely right. This is one of your and valid points. I totally mean. agree. Hold on one second. But but the thing is, he he is not apologising to me out of a principle, and I think that what underlies his. But he claims he didn't. Sit, you'll see on camera he did, and I have witnesses. These people saw him interrupt me. Well, you can watch the videos for yourself. Okay, Soko Films is our channel. Go and watch Soko Films and you will watch him interrupt me and you will hear me ask him, give me four minutes, right? And he didn't give it to me. And he interrupted a formally agreed debate. That's why I've not debated him today. But trust me, he's coming back to the park. I'm coming back to the park. We're going to debate. Next week. I'll come and debate this guy next week. Yeah? Okay. And I, hopefully we'll have a nice conversation. What time are you looking to have God debate? willing, God willing, I, I try to get here between, between like around one ish. Yeah, God willing. Yeah, we say God willing in Christianity. Did yeah. you not know that? No, it's a new thing for Christianity to say. No, no, no. It's in the Bible. Yes, it's in the Bible. It actually says in the, it says in the scripture that you should never make a plan without saying God willing because you don't even know if you're going to live tomorrow. Yes, yes, of course. You know the Prophet uh, Muhammad yeah. was mentioned in the Quran as well as his wife uh, Fatima, I think it was. Okay. And uh, the Vatican has only just found that out, well, has actually, uh, they've been, um, you know, I'm into conspiracy. Oh, All right, fair enough. Yeah. 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 So we found out that in the Vatican they had the Bible that had the Prophet Muhammad and his wife in it. Okay, yeah. So are you aware of this? So, yeah, I, I, so I, I, I've heard these claims before, yeah. right? No, but the, no, one second. I've heard these claims before. What you don't know about me is that I have a, I have a degree in religious studies. I can't, yeah, no, religious studies, not theology. But I, I study this topic a lot. It's, it's on my mind all the time. And I, I assure you, I assure you that what you've heard is a lie. And the reason why and it's a lie is because, because sister, if it was true, the, you know, things like the BBC and CNN. One second, let me finish. Let me finish. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. I, I don't agree with them either. But what I'm saying to you is that, like, this this is something that I would encourage you to really check the sources because, because I, I promise you, the oldest full complete copies of the Bible that we have at the, like the Vatican are the Sinaiticus and the Vaticanus. Okay? They're so old that they actually predate the canon of the Bible. So they have books in that Christians don't recognize as canon. That's how old they are, right? They don't mention Muhammad, not once anywhere. See, I, to I me. can't, well, well, I will disagree with that. Okay. Um, but these boys here, they have more knowledge than yeah. I do. Yeah. I would really appreciate it. If you said you would do this, do this debate next week, rather than do it next week, could you do it today? No. Because you know, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, next week. We're not going to, how do we know we're going to be here tomorrow? That's why I said God willing. You know, how do we know the Antichrist isn't going to come tomorrow? That's why I said God willing. So can you, can you just <laughs> I'm sorry, sister. It's, it, I, I, I offered to debate him. Wait I a second. Don't come here that often. 
Yeah, sister. Oh, bless your heart. It's, it's worth it. I, I, I promised it. I, I challenged him twice today to debate a topic that he interrupted. But can I be the adjudicator in between and make sure that you don't interrupt? And I will make sure. And I also. So I will give you four minutes and I'll time you. Once thank you. Again, I'm and, and, and I also challenged every Muslim that you saw before I left to debate them right now on Akida. So I was willing to debate. But he had interrupted a, an agreed debate. And that's why I was only willing to debate him on that topic. How you could have actually said it, Jamie, is if you promise not to interrupt yeah. in my four minutes, and someone actually stands there, not even me, someone just stands there and literally holds, oh, we could just put a mask on for a bit. I mean, they're not got masks on. Just saying, until that mask comes off, you can't speak. Yeah. You know, we can have these discussions, but yeah, if totally. it's about so-and-so interrupted, then I'm not going to speak. That's just a bit. Yeah, but sometimes... It's a bit, it's right, so we're here for, we're some, here Agreed. Sometimes it works out like that. Sometimes it works out like that. The thing is, the thing is, I don't know if you're aware of this, right? But within Islamic teaching, there's a lot of laws that if they were practiced, would be very discriminatory against Christians. No, now, no, no, let me finish, please. I'll let you finish. And, and it's for that reason that I'm not willing to just accept a Muslim in forcing his way into a converse, a, an agreed formal debate, forcing his way into that conversation, and then demanding that I just talk about whatever he wanted. Right? I'm not willing to accept that because I'm not willing to be trapped like, as he said, you know, I don't apart. These were his very words. We as Muslims, we have something in our religion which all Muslims should know. It's called the Izzah. We have Izzah. We don't apologize to anyone. We don't apologize to people who worship a man who died on a cross. Now, do you agree with that? No, but can I ask, and ask, let me just inform you of something. You know, we're coming to the end of time. Convert to Islam. We know that, right? And this is one of the reasons we have to respect all faiths. Yeah, because we don't know who's going to turn. You're a devout Christian, I can see that. But how do I know that tomorrow you won't become a devout Muslim when, you know, you get enlightened? You may so, not know that, I can show you this I, I can show you when okay, we can, I, I know people that are like three. Today, uh, today I was with three ex-Muslims who've become Christian. Today. Yeah, yeah no, there are those as well. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying that they don't exist. Of course they do. But the thing is, we can't hate Christians or the Jews because they're going to convert and we know that. They are, they are going to be our brothers and sisters. How about next week? I bring my Quran. I'm very limited on knowledge. That's fine. He's not a better than me. All right. All I would do, all I would do is I'm just going to read you verses and ask you to comment on them. That's all. Not on camera, though. We can do it off camera, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah no, we'll no. do it off camera. Anyway, what's your name? I'm not, I'm Shaz. Shaz, nice to meet you, Shaz. My name is Bob here. It's not really Bob. I'd like, no, it's not. I want to give you a gift because you're a very nice person. Oh, thank you. It's just, it's just a, a, a series of reflections based upon biblical passages. So you read the Bible passage and then it's like a, a, a reflective tool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you don't want it, I was offering you a gift. That is fine. Okay. Yeah. I'm a very strong believer in Islam. Yeah. Like yeah. You know? All of these people that have debates, you know, there's different strengths and uh, religiosity, old people, same with you, your colleagues, yeah. your friends, and so forth. But the thing is, we're all here to find the truth. Yeah. Why we come here, you know? And I think it would have been a good discussion if you could have had a discussion with him, but I understand. But, you know, I, I offered him a discussion yeah. on the I'm topic he interrupted. He oh, we won't interrupt next sure. week, I'm sure. But, 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 but sister, I want to point. I want to point something out to you, right? Something that just tripped out of your mouth. Because I make mistakes. I'm, here. I'm not. I'm not attacking you. Exactly. Everyone. Yeah. But, but I want to. I want to point something out to you that tripped out of your mouth. Okay. Let Let me finish. Let Yeah. Let me finish. Let me oh, let me finish. Oh, nice. Use sister, that. sister. Use that. Listen, something that tripped out of your mouth. I want to I want to play it back to you, and then I want to draw a point for you because this is what I'm getting at. You said when I offered you this gift, you said 
Because I believe that the Bible is being changed, I would not value it. No, well, let me finish. Can let I, me, can let I, me, can I finish? I let you finish. So my point to you is, if you start the search for truth by saying, by presupposing that the Bible is no value to you, A, not only does it stop you from finding truth, but B, what, it re what it's saying is, is that you don't value the Christians of the scriptures. The scriptures of the Christians. If I said to you, if I said to you, I don't value the Quran, okay, how would you respond to that? Well, I would say that you don't value it because you don't believe it. Correct. That means I would see it as because you're so staunch in your belief in Christianity yep. and you've obviously done your research, you've done the study, so you're, you're certain that Christianity is the truth. For me, as a Muslim, I'm more of a reaper because, you know, even though I was born here and my family are Muslim, I still had uh, I had to learn to be able to comply with two cultures and two religions. Yeah. Seven religions. Yeah. But at the same time, having done my research on Islam and finding the science that I needed yeah. and the information and answers to questions that I needed, for me, it, it, I can only be a Muslim. I've learned about Christianity, not to your level, but I've got friends that are Christian, even Pakistanis that are Christian, your family that I know of, and, and I grew up with them in, in secondary school, so I do understand the Christian faith. What I was saying is it's very nice that you offer me that book, but if I read it, and I probably would have if I was going on the train that I drive, so, you know, I probably would read it at some point, and I do think that information in your Bible is very nice, some of it, right? But at the same time, because I know what Islam tells me and what the purpose of life is, all my questions are answered down to science and stuff, your Bible doesn't offer me that. It offers me contradictions. And one thing I can't get over is the trilogy. I think your friend wants to go to the book. So, so let 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 me ask you. She, she, if she wants to go to the pub, she can. I'm talking to you. If they want to go to the pub, that is fine. I'm talking to you right now. My attention is for you. Thank you. I don't need to go to the pub. I'm more interested in talking to you. But 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 but. So I wasn't trying to undermine your literature, and neither was I trying to say that. But one second. Can I ask you a question, sister? Do you do you do you do you have a Bible? I have a Quran. I don't have a Bible. Can I give you just one of our Gospels? You can read it in a day. It's so short. Shall I tell you why? And I then why what, I'm in, what I'm suggesting that you do is you read it, you write down all your questions, and then next week we talk about it. That's a lot. That's, that's it really isn't. Can I show you? Can I show you? It's really not a big book. Let me show you how small it is. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. I, I don't believe in the trilogy. Yeah. See what I mean? Trinity. I ain't got one. Trilogy. Trilogy. I got one. Trinity. Trilogy. Trilogy. It's still the same thing. It's still the same thing. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Have you got a gospel on you? Anyone got a gospel? I'm here next week. Okay, let's let's talk again next week. I thought are you related to Tim? I, 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 even if I was, I wouldn't tell you. No, but you, 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 you there's resemblance there. If I was related to him, I wouldn't That's tell you. I thought you were his brother, and I was like, oh my God, is that his brother? But yeah. Muslim. Yeah, I wouldn't tell you if I was. Yeah, I look him up. Okay. Yeah, anyway, up. it's right, lovely nice to meet you. Bob, God care. bless you, yeah, and we'll talk next week, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'll be All here right. next week. We'll talk next week. <laughs> God bless. Have a good day. I, I, I forgot my gospel. Yeah. I got, I got, I got to, I got to apologise about this week because it didn't turn out how I planned it. So I'm sorry for the lack of edifying conversations. And today, this week, I feel I allowed myself to become the subject. So I put out an apology for that. I'm sorry about that. I just wasn't willing to accept that guy doing what he did. So next week, it'll be back to normal, God willing.